Oh, it's Sunday, January 9th. Pastor Vance uh, bringing you a, a devotional today from our Bible reading plan. I want to encourage you, it's Sunday today, to uh, to join us for worship 1030 here live or, or live stream on Facebook or our website, roosterfriends.com, um, or you can find it later um, on video any of those places, or, or our app as well, which you can see a link for down at the bottom of this video. You can download that and, and join us there as well. But we've been journeying through Scripture, and, and we're still going to read today, even though we're coming together to church, read through our Bible reading plan, and we encourage you to continue to find uh, encouragement and edification through God's Word each and every day. Even if you miss a day, you missed yesterday, it's okay. Read today's. Don't, don't let the, what you've missed become a burden. Um, and today I read in Psalm 9, and I, I read Psalm 10 as well. If you look, um, there's no title in Psalm 10. I mean, those are really one psalm. So I read them together and skipped ahead a little bit. But um, this uh, psalm, David says in verse 9, of chapter 9, that the Lord is our shelter. Uh, the Lord is a shelter for the oppressed, a refuge in times of trouble. And really, he talks about those times of trouble after that. And he talks about how enemies are winning, how, how he's losing, how all these bad things are happening, not just to him, but to the people around him. How the wicked seem to prosper, how the wicked seem to get an advantage, how, how they just pridefully go about and ignore what God has, has told them to do and do their own thing. And David says, God, I know you see the, the, the trouble and grief that you've caused, that, that they've caused. And in the end, he says, I know that God's going to hear our cries. God, you'll hear the, the cries of the oppressed. You'll bring justice to, to these situations. <clears throat> Some of you may be in that place today. You may be in a time of trouble. You may feel like you're oppressed. You may feel like the world's against you. Everything in your life seems to be going bad. Nothing is going as planned. Um... I've, I've seen many friends in 2022 already saying, hey, this year's starting off just as bad as the last two. And maybe you feel that way today. We all go through seasons like that, where we feel overwhelmed, where we feel like we're losers, and the world around us is defeating us. Maybe something bad's happened to you. Maybe you're sick. A lot of people are sick right now. Who knows? I don't know what it is, but if you feel that time of trouble, or when that time of trouble comes, because it comes for all of us, we all have times of trouble. How do we say that God is our refuge in that time of trouble? How do we seek shelter in Him? Because sometimes we think that um, God is supposed to be like a shield against the times of trouble. He's supposed to keep those things from happening, keep those things from, from hurting us. That's not what God says. God says they're going to come, the storms are going to come, and I'm going to be here to protect you. You, you come underneath the shadow of my wing, and I will be a refuge in that time of trouble. <clears throat> How do we recognize that God is our refuge? How do we find that shelter? Well, the beginning of this psalm, I believe, gives us the key. In verse 1, it, it says in the New Living that I'm reading here, I will praise you, Lord, with all my heart. Most of the other versions will, will talk about um, giving thanks. And that, that word there, I, I looked it up and wondered why uh, it had two different translations there, which one, which one was right. And, and that word, <clears throat> excuse me, in the Hebrew, actually um, there's a, uh, a meaning that says you will give voice to. It's about praising, confessing. I'm going to give voice to all, it's, it's both, praise and thanksgiving. I'm going to give voice to all the good things that God has done, to all the great things with all my heart, with everything within me. I'm going to count every good thing that God has done, and I'm going to give voice to it. You know, sometimes 
<clears throat> all we give voice to in our life is the bad things, are the hard things, are the terrible things. All we want to talk about is listen to how my life is bad. Listen to what's not good. You won't believe how hard my work is. You won't believe what my kids have done. You won't believe what my spouse did. Let me tell you how hard my life is. We give voice to the times of trouble. And when we do that, we're, we're outstanding in the storm. Stop giving voice to the hard things. Stop giving voice to the difficult things. Stop giving voice to the things that hurt you, that harm you. And start giving voice to all the wonderful things that God has done for you. That none of the hard things ever change. That none of the difficult things ever take away. Give voice to the goodness of God in your life. And as, as David goes on to say next, that I will be filled with joy then because of you. You want to take away, find that refuge and take away the feelings of pain and hardship that we have when life is terrible because those times of trouble are coming. The storms will be here. Even though today might be sunny, tomorrow might be stormy. We don't know. You want to change that your heart attitude. Every day, sunshine or storm, give voice, give praise, give thanks to the wonderful things God has done for you. And if all you can see, if all you can see are the hard things, are the difficult things, if that's all you can give voice to, then you need to just begin to pray as David did, God, hear my cries. Rescue me from this oppression. And that rescue may not mean that the oppression, that the trouble, that the hardship goes away. The rescue may be that you begin to see the goodness of God in a moment where you cannot see it. Give voice to all the things you have to be thankful for because of what God has done. Give voice to all the goodness that God has brought to your life. Give voice and find joy in who God is and what he's done. And then you'll find that refuge in whatever trouble you're going through today.